The Travelers Championship is all about charity. Former Travelers CEO Jay Fishman was diagnosed with ALS over two years ago. This year, the tournament has put its focus on ALS awareness. Throughout the week, the pro golfers has been lending encouragement to Fishman. It was kind of one of those things where he was thanking me, and I was trying to refute that and thank him. When you see somebody, a friend like that, that's struggling, it puts things in perspective, obviously, and you know your heart goes out to him and his family. But um, he's fighting. He's not, you know, he's not giving up. And uh, um, hopefully, we have him for, you know, longer than expected. Let's hope so. Tonight, 40 pro golfers turned out to a dinner gala in Hartford. It was a fundraiser for ALS research and care. Over one million dollars was raised. Goes to show you what the community thinks of Fishman. Says he feels better than he looks, and he's still catering to the players. We want them to come away from this week for whatever reason, saying, boy, that place is special. For some guys, it's the course. For some guys, it's the amenities that we provide. For some, it's the events we hold for their kids. It, it doesn't matter. As long as they go home and they say, that place is special, then we've done, we've done our job. Look, I... I, I'm on a mission. I don't. I don't. I don't. Not that I don't need any encouragement, but I'm all self-encouraged. I'm, I'm, I've got things to do and take care of before my time is up. Is it really hard on some days? Are you real? Are you frustrated at all on some days? Yeah. It. It. So it is. Some days. I. I. I the only person who sees that uh, is my wife. And she. She'll see that sub. And I have an aid because there's a lot now I can't do myself. So they see how difficult it can be. But once I'm out the door. The world's good, mm -hmm. and so you know whether it's. I mean, most people understand the impact of the disease. I, 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 I share with people. You know, you wake up in the middle of the night, and your head scratches. Can't reach my head with my hands anymore. So what do I do? What do I do? It gets, it gets that granular. So yeah, those are frustrating moments. Suck it up and go forward. That's that's all I know how to do. And so for someone two and a half years into it. I'm actually doing okay. I'm still speaking. Mm -hmm. Many two and a half year patients are not. I'm still swallowing. I'm still eating, doing the things. I have a little trouble breathing and I need a little help. But, uh, you know, other than a little case of ALS, I'm doing just fine. I'll keep fighting the fight. Yeah, you bet. You bet. And, and, and to continue to do good things. The fight is really about what you leave behind, not the time you spend. Fishman is the co-chair of this year's tournament. He reached out to East Haven native Brian Savo to be his co-chair. Savo was diagnosed with ALS in 2009. He's been encouraging patients and families and caregivers ever since. He's also worked tirelessly to raise money. One day out of the blue, he got a call from Fishman who wanted his help. A great family man, Savo has been front and center at this year's tournament. I, I know you've been at this for a long time, whether it's it's walks, you know, down near the hometown, whether you're taking part in a, a Jack's Junk Ball Tournament. You've really met, put a grassroots effort into this. What was it like for you to become part of the Travelers family? Almost speechless. I mean, to be brought into the family and be treated like I am, I, I couldn't ask for anything more. This was more than I could ever have expected. And Jay gave me an opportunity of a lifetime to get the awareness out, help him just keep the st driving this train, let people know, you know, there's a balance between research and patient care. And, you know, we're going to do everything we can to leave them and give them hope. You look at the guys running it, whether it was Jay Fishman, Andy Wissett, Nathan Grub, who at opening ceremonies, you, you made, made cry. What was it that kind of set him off, if you will? I mean, you know, you're telling your personal story. I mean, he's got kids. He's got a family. He knows what it's like. You know, he's got his boss he loves that he's been so close to. And now to watch somebody have their brain and be ripped from their body, it's tough. You know, it's not just tough for the patient. It's tough for everyone who's involved. It's an emotional roller coaster. You know, so that's why it's important to have support group. You know, try to digest it as quick as possible because your life will be much easier, you know, the quicker you digest. The, the outcome is what it is. Did you ever think when you, you know, you kind of strapped up and said, you know what, I'm going to fight this to the end, that you'd be here and Bubba Watson would be donating $100,000 to ALS Research? I mean, I know you're just looking, you know, for $10 here, $5 here from people, and here's a guy dropping 100 grand. You know, I mean, he didn't have to do that. To step up like that and do that, I, I met with him last night. We sat down in the clubhouse and had a chance to spend some time with him, and he, he's quite the gentleman. His cart's got some autographs on it. I noticed you and your son out at the first tee the other day. Well, you've met some pretty fun people, huh? Yes, I have. Uh, Kevin Ali, <clears throat> Coach Calhoun, 
Luke Wilson, Doug Flutie. It was fun. Tim Wakefield, I had some fun with him. I said, hey, You're a Yankee fan, right? Uh, you know, I'm not going to force you to sign the Yankee symbol, but <laughs> let me tell you something. He's got a great sense of humor. He said, ah, I'll sign it wherever you'd like. You might be the biggest star out here this week. I'm just saying. <laughs> I've nah. seen a lot of people coming up to talk to you. There has. It, there's been an outpouring, like I said. I mean, yeah, I can, uh, I could choke up quick. I, tons of people I've never met, one after the other, coming up to me and saying I'm, I'm the motivation person, but I'm not. Everybody who's here, it's a team. Mm -hmm. This, for what we're accomplishing here, it's not just me. It's everybody who's here, out here, volunteering. And I can't thank them enough, John. It's been. It's been awesome. Proud of Brian. Known him since he was in kindergarten. Keep up the fight, Brian. We'll be right back.